All right, guys, welcome back. I'm Laurel, and today I'm going to show you how to triple skirt a trolling lure. So on this example, I did a Satomu 9-inch Moak Bullet. Um, I'm doing the general skirt colors, which is a darkish blue and silver over orange, yellow, and white, and then over hot pink. It's a pretty old school color combination. So what you need is the trolling lure head. Again, this is a nine inch head, so I'm going to use nine inch skirts. You need the three skirts. You need a little razor blade or a sharp knife or something like that. Some scissors, some rigging floss. I'm using 30 pound test a little trash can. This is gonna be a pretty simple video, so hang tight. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is the inside skirt. So all the way on the inside on this one, I'm doing hot pink. I actually already cut this one, but you can see exactly where I cut it. I left about a centimeter above the eye. So instead of flipping this entirely inside out like I normally would on a skirted lure, I'm just going to flip the top portion. So you can kind of see I flip the top portion just over a little bit. I'm going to line it up with the top of the lure so that the eyes are on each side of the lure and the top of the lure. And pull it over top try to push it as before you flip the actual ridge over you want to have it all the way up to the top of the bottom lower ridge and then now you flip it over so again there's like a little bit less than a centimeter um, overlapping now I'm going to take my floss around to the very top of the lower ridge And then I usually tie my knot on the side instead of on the bottom just to make sure that it doesn't have any kind of lumps anywhere important. I don't think it matters too much, but, and then I do two overhand knots. Now you have this awkward leftover skirt material so this is where you use your razor blade be very careful here because that's how i actually got this cut right here and then i pull it off so now there is no excess skirt material my second skirt which is this one and in order to do so i'm going to cut it right around the same spot Now, I'm also not flipping this skirt over. So, the easiest way to do this is to use my lemon pledge. This is kind of a smaller skirt for this lower head, but it's gonna have to work. And then I push it through the top, the lower head through the top of that skirt. And then I pull it down to that second lower lower ridge. The skirts are about the same length. So that's when I know when to stop and match up the eyes. So I have the top of the skirt on the top of the lower head. And then I take another piece of floss. So you want to tie the floss so that it's wedged in between the floss on the inside and the bottom of the top lower ridge. So, tying it as tight as I possibly can. And then, use my razor blade, and I'm gonna cut the excess. like this okay the last step is I'm gonna put the third skirt on 
And this one I'm just gonna put on normally. So I am going to skirt it inside out. So I flip the whole thing inside out. Spray a little bit of lemon pledge. Put it over the top of the lower head. And I'm only leaving a very small space because I want to have the eyes showing. Usually people like to have the eyes showing. The reason that we cut that excess off is because whenever two skirts are facing the same exact way, you don't want to have all that right on this area because if there's an overlap, the lure isn't going to be as flush as you want it. And then flip it over. The eyes are exactly where I want them. Only a little bit is hidden. And then I'm going to cut the excess material so it's all even. And this is one extra step that you can do. You see this is a little bit thick. Um, so flip everything over again and let's look at just the inside skirt. And I'm just going to cut a couple ridges off of here, a couple legs off. Kind of point, cut them in like a triangle. So it's not like a, just a square cut out. Like it kind of looks like it was meant to not have those legs there just cutting just a couple of them just to make it so it's not so thick you don't want to cut any of the outside skirt off because that's what you can actually see but you can't see the inside skirts too much so you can't really tell that I cut pieces off you can just see that it's not as thick and then so this is our finished product it's not too thick or anything like that it looks great um, I know that as soon as I put this out someone's going to buy it but that's pretty much it. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments or just call me up at the store. Let me know or tell me in person because I know that you will. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye, guys.